Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Modern Witch Tarot Deck. This tarot deck right here. One of the things that kind of sold me on this deck is the cover. The young sister here with the Afro Puffs. So I really dug that. And that was one of the uh, reasons why I bought this tarot deck. I was like, yeah, I got to get this tarot deck. Anyway, the uh, Modern Witch Tarot Deck is by Lisa Stero. And let's look at the cards. But before we look at the cards, let's look at the, uh, the package in here. I really like this because the um, it has a really nice uh, sturdy box here which I think is really good to protect the cards and it opens up from the bottom open it up this way this is the side of it and this is of course it's the back which kinda go it shows you three of the cards that's in the uh, tarot deck The second box is really sturdy also. And we take the cards out. Now, one of the things I thought was really cool about this tarot deck is check out the inside. They um, took a lot of time and a lot of detail and they put <laughs> some cool stuff in the um, inside here, which I think is really cool. Uh, this is my first time seeing um, a tarot deck when you actually look at the inside and you can see that they actually took time and put some artwork inside of the uh, second box, which I think is really cool. Alright, so this tarot deck comes with a booklet. And let's take a quick look at the booklet here. And a booklet. When you turn the first page, it has the same artwork that's inside the uh, second box is in here. And toward the back, it looks like they have different spreads that you can use uh, when you're doing a reading for someone or if you're doing a reading for yourself. So I think that's really cool. Now, some of these spreads I've never heard of before. Like this one right here is called the Cutting Path. So this, this is like it's a... Um, a six card spread so I think that is really cool this is sort of like my first look so I haven't actually looked at you know what they uh, say that the spread is all about but I do plan on um, looking at this and uh, and doing some um, readings for it now right now I'm not doing readings for anyone else so I'll probably be reading for myself you know Say uh, if I wake up in the morning and I want to know how the day is, I'll, I'll draw a card or uh, uh, something similar to that. So, But I think this is a really, really nice deck. Alright, so let's look at some of the cards. The cards are going to be a little bit out of order because I was looking at them before I started this video. So it's going to be a little out of order. So the full card is not going to be the first card. <laughs> Alright, just to let you know. This card here, the first one we're going to look at, is the Lovers. Now, one of the things I really like about this card is the angel here has, it looks like copper wings. Isn't that cool? So she's blue with copper wings and white hair. So I'm dying to know what the uh, symbology is of this card, so... I'm definitely going to go and read the book and see what they say about this. And I'm really interested in, in why they gave the, uh, the angel in the middle copper wings. But that is really cool. Okay, the next card is the Hierophant. And one of the things I thought was really cool about this card is the fact that the Hierophant is a woman in this card. And if you look very carefully, hopefully my camera will bring this up. She has tattoos on her arms, so <laughs> that is really cool. So the Hierophant is a woman, and she has tattoos, so hence the, um, the modern witch tarot deck. Brings things from the medieval times to the modern times, so I really like that. Um, we have the Emperor here. The Emperor, now this is interesting, because the Emperor, you would think, is a man, but here, the emperor looks like a woman, 
but it could be a man. You make up your own mind. The emperor definitely has feminine features, so it could be a man or a woman. Hence the modern witch tarot deck. So, as I said before, it brings everything into modern times. So the emperor doesn't necessarily have to be a man. The next card here is the Empress. I really like her because she has this really <laughs> awesome afro here. Isn't that cool? And you can tell it's sort of like based on the Rider Waite tarot deck. But yeah, I really like that. The next card here, and I will say that this tarot deck does have a lot of women of color in it. And hey, I, I really like that. I really appreciate that because, you know, for a while, um, with tarot decks, you know, we were not represented in, in the tarot. So now we're getting tarot decks, uh, like the Melanated Tarot deck, um, and you know, a couple other tarot decks that I have that have people of color in the uh, tarot deck. So I think that's really cool, or it, within the cards, rather. Anyway, this is the High Priestess. And as I said, it's kind of based on a right away, a little bit, you know, some of the colors might be a little bit different. But uh, it's, you, know, you can tell that they use the right away as sort of like the template for the rest of the cards. This is a magician. Again, this is what's on the cover of the uh, box here. And magician is not a man, a magician, a magician rather, is a woman. And she has this really awesome, or really awesome, uh, Afro Puffs here. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, this is actually the first card in this um, tarot deck. And this is the Fool. Now, one of the reasons why I really like this card is if you look closely, she has, well, number one, the, the, the Fool is a woman, and she has headphones on so she's listening to her uh, headphones and it's about to walk off the cliff and uh, of course her little dog is trying to warn her now this is interesting this is the chariot the chariot again is a woman and the chariot is riding a motorcycle so that's her chariot it's not a um coach or something like that. It's an actual motorcycle. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is strength. That's really awesome too. And she, uh, she's, uh, looks like she's like, sort of like petting the lion. She's made friends with it. So yeah, I'm really digging this. Sort of like a different take on um, right away. <laughs> All right, this is the hermit. Sort of like the magician in a way, but um, a lot older. You can tell here she has. I would say it's gray hair, but it's in the in the tarot deck, it's like white hair. And an interesting thing is, it looks like she's opening up a laptop. I just noticed that. So it's not a book, a laptop. Now this is interesting. This is the Wheel of Fortune. And instead of giving you the animals on the side here, it just gives you the astrological um, Symbols here like Taurus and Leo and Virgo and Aquarius. It just has the symbols here and it has the man and the woman on the uh, on the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, they have their own take on the uh, right away. This is Justice and Justice here is a woman. Nice. And here we have the hanged one. They call it the hanged one rather than the hanged man. 
Nice. The hanged one. Okay. Sorry about that. If I don't touch my computer every now and then, things starts to dim them out and then all of a sudden disappear. So <laughs> anyway, this is death. I'm not going to go over all the cards because that will take too long. I think I might just go over the uh, Major Arcana and then maybe a couple of the other cards um, after that and that will be it. But, you know, just the cards that really stand out. Those are the ones I'm going to go over. Um, this card here is Temperance. And here we have again, this is like it's copper, copper, the wings. So we have a woman of color with copper wings. And, you know, the symbology is, is pretty much the same as the white weight, but um, it's a little bit different. Okay, next card here. And I think this is a really awesome card. Um, I really like the way they did the devil here. This is the devil card. So we have the Baphomet figure here. And we have... Two people chained, and um, it looks like it's two women rather than a man and a woman. So it's interesting how they have it here. And of course, it's like the Rider weight deck. Um, the chains are loose; they're not tight, so they can easily just take the chains and take it off of their heads if they want to. They're not really truly bound. Okay, so the next card here. This is interesting. This is the Tower card, which is very similar to the Ride Awake card. Um, one of the things I find interesting is, if you look on the side here, it looks like this lady here is impaled. It's like uh, before she completely fell to the ground, she got impaled by um, what looks like, uh, it looks like crystals to me. Like, um, blue crystals, but it could be just the mountaintop that has sharp points. But yeah, interesting. I'm going to skip the star because it has nudity in it and I don't want YouTube to freak out. <laughs> so I, I can't show you part of it though. I just have to kind of cover it up. But yeah, this is the star card. The next card is the Moon card. This is pretty um, standard um, from what you see in a Rider Waite, except for the, the dark figure that is coming from the lake here. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, it has uh, their own little take on the, um, on the cards, which I think is interesting. I really like this one, too. This is the sun and the... Um, Instead of having a little boy on a horse, it has a little girl on a horse. And I really like that sun, the picture in the sun. That is really cool. She looks really happy, doesn't she? <laughs> All right. And here we have Judgment. And here we have the uh, copper wings again. On the camera, it looks red. But to me, it looks, uh, when I'm looking at it directly, at this, it looks like it has uh, like a copper feeling to it. Uh, I have to actually read the booklet and, and see what they say about the wings, but it seems like all the wings have um, a different, um, I mean, I'm sorry, not different, but the same colors to it. Okay, this one I'll hold back a little bit because it has um, nudity in it, but this is the world. And it's pretty standard from what you see in a Wide Awake deck, but except for having um, the um, characters like um, um, Virgo or Leo or Taurus, they have the symbols on the side here. Okay, so now we're going to go over just some of the, um, the minor arcana here. This is the um, Two of, of Wands. 
And if you look carefully here, it looks like she has a cell phone in her hand. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let me see which other cars kind of stand out. I really like this one. This is the Seven of Wands. It looks like they put all women in this deck. So, yeah. Which is cool. That's fine with me. All right. Yeah, it looks like this is all, all women. Or if they do have someone who's man, who's a man, but it's it's kind of ambiguous if it's a man, male or female. Okay, let's kind of go over some of these. The Ace of Cups it has a pink cup. So a little bit different with the symbology here. Okay, let's do a couple more, then I'm going to call it quits for this video. This is the Seven of Cups. And it looks like all of the cups are pink. So like I said, this is sort of like my first time really getting into the cards. So this is sort of like a surprise to me also. So I didn't know that. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's see which one kind of stands out. Okay, this is the um, Ten of Swords. And if you look closely here, it looks like she's on her cell phone. <laughs> so yeah, we have another person on their cell phone. Anyway, this is the uh, back of the uh, tarot deck. Only thing I would say that I think they could have done better is um, they could have done the the back of the card a little bit better. You know, powder blue is not my favorite color, but that's just me. That's what my own personal taste. Other than that, you know, I scale from one to ten, I would still give it a ten. I think this is a excellent tarot deck to get. Um, I like the way that they, it looks like they feature all women, or if they do have someone in here who's not a woman, they are, um, it's ambig ambiguous if, if they're male or female, so it has a lot of feminine energy in this um, tarot deck, and I really like the modern theme that this tarot deck has, so I'll let you figure that out yourself. I will show you one more, this is really cool, this is sort of like jumped out at me. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Isn't, isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Alright, so if you're looking for a really cool tarot deck to get, I would recommend you getting the Modern Witch Tarot. Modern Witch Tarot deck. And this is a tarot deck that I'm going to be using myself. Because I do readings for myself. And, um... Right now, I'm not doing readings for anyone else. I'm taking a break from doing readings, and but I do do readings for myself. You know, at the beginning of the day, or the end of the day, or you know, the middle part of the day, just to see what's happening, just to see what's um, going on in the universe around me. All right, if you want a cool tarot deck, I would definitely highly recommend the Modern Witch Tarot Deck. Until next time, love is the law, and. Uh, Peace.